What's up guys? So today I'm working on a 06 Chevy Impala. Um, this is just a LT, I believe, 3.5 engine. And it has an oil leak on it. It was actually dripping pretty bad while the car was running. Uh, I got underneath it, looked, and it was coming from the oil filter housing. So I already pulled it out, got the new gasket, and also the oil light was on and the sensor in this one bed. So put the new sensor on already. I just want to show you guys real quick what I did. Here's the old gasket that I took out. As you can see, the metal came apart of the rubber. And up here is where the filter sits, the housing. So I got this cleaned up, ready to go. You can see the mess I made. So some people are like, they don't have to take all these bolts out on the compressor to uh, get the, fil the oil filter housing out. As you can see up here, this bolt that's sticking out, you just need to be able to slide the housing out of it. But I couldn't even loosen the bolt here because my socket wouldn't fit because of how close the compressor is. So what I had to do was I had to take the two bolts on the outside um, by the wheel. I had to loosen it's hard to see. There's a bolt. Where is the bolt? Uh, it, it's to the left of your screen up top. And then there's another bolt. Uh, there's another bolt right here on the compressor. So once I loosened the, these two, the last one was the bolt on the compressor. It slid down and I was able to get enough clearance to loosen this bolt right here for the oil filter housing. Um, I don't know if just because the car was sitting for a while the compressor is like a little stuck in there from the rust and buildup or what but well, this is what I had to do so I decided I was just gonna make a video on this um, and show you what I had to deal with. Um, and before you start taking anything apart, disconnect the oil pressure sensor because it is connected to the oil filter housing. Um, and I just went ahead and replaced that sensor and the gasket. And pretty much, I'm just about to reinstall this now. Same way it came out. Alright, everything's back on. I'm going to go ahead and start it. The only thing I'm a little iffy about is the surfacing belt. Um, tried to get the compressor to move back to where it was as far as I could but I think the belt is a little loose not much but just a tiny bit but we're gonna give her a crank and see what it does belt's looking good Top off fluids, so fluids are good. Uh, other than oil, I kind of got to top her off like a quart. Oil pressure lights off, uh, just service airbag now. So that's pretty much how you change the oil filter housing on this. 